Welcome home, darling. What's the occasion? I... I made your favorite meal. And I hope you will like it. I'm not hungry. Only. Please. Sit. <sighs> Kunle. You know it's been long we had dinner together. So I thought it would be nice to do this. Also, there's something else I have to tell you. Ivy, I want a divorce. Babies. Sorry, mommy, it was your shoe first look for my trouble. I don't want to know who first looked for trouble. Wear your shoes and sit down and have your breakfast. Sit down here. Good hey, boy. Yeah. Breakfast is ready. I'm not hungry. Cheerfully. Okay, at least wait for the boys to finish having their breakfast so you can drop them off at school. Why do you have a car? Besides, I'm late for work. I can't wait. Hey, take care. Do they sit properly? Come and sit down here.
Hello? Madam, it's past four. Your kids are the only ones left in oh school. My, oh my goodness. It's four already. Oh, I'm so sorry. But I'm sorry, madam, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Ah. Oh. Hi. What is wrong with both of you? Eh? If you make me talk, I will spank you. Now, pick up your shoes, go upstairs and have a bath. Mommy, I'm hungry. And I said, pick up your shoes, go upstairs and have a bath. I'll make your food. And I don't want to hear any noise upstairs. Okay, Good. Are you going out again? Yes, I'm going to hang out with my friends. So that's why you came home early? Meaning? Well, I just thought maybe since you're home early, you can help the boys with their assignments. Because I'm really tired and stressed up. All I need to do right now is just go in there, take a shower and have some rest. Let me get this straight. You want me to cancel an appointment with my friends because you're too lazy to take a shower at the right time? Huh? Wait, let, let me even ask you this. What exactly do you do all day apart from lazying around? Huh? Look at you. The, the, the same pajamas I left you in this morning. That's exactly what you're wearing. I mean, you even smell like sweat. And there's AC in this house. Coolly. How am I supposed to smell? I am just coming out from the kitchen. Please, I really cannot swallow your insults this night. And if you want to know what I do at home all day, why don't you stay back and help the boys with their assignments at least for one full day? Instead, you prefer to, to, to go out with, to, with your boys, even go to work on a Sunday. You know what? I cannot swallow your insult this night. I'm tired. I'll go and take a shower. In the morning, I'll help them with the assignment. You can go out with your boys if you like. Stay, stay back there for, for the next 10 years.
Hello, Ken. Good evening. <laughs> How is work? Okay. I just want to know if my husband is with you. Because I've been trying to call him, but he's not picking up. Yes, he's with me. We went for a birthday party. He just stepped out to use the restroom. I will tell him to call you once he's out. Okay, thank you so much. How is Uju? She's fine. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Babe. Yeah? You just lied to her. Why would you do that? Who would you rather have me do? <laughs> How about telling her the truth? That you are not with him? I'm break the bro code. Come on. She's already worried as she is already. <laughs> if I tell her now, it's just add more to it. Look, I don't trust any of your friends. So you better pick up that phone and call Kunde to call his wife. Please. Babe, babe, calm down now. <laughs> You are so beautiful. <laughs> Hey, bro. I did somewhere. Wait till you come tell her. I thought that we had the party together. And with you day here, she wants to bite my head off. Please try and call her now. I thought that you went to use the restroom. <sighs> okay, man. Thanks. Baby, I have to go now. I thought you were staying. All you need to do is just call her and tell her you, you're not coming back. I need attention too. Babe, no. You want to leave this? <laughs> you want to go back to that woman that does not give you attention? Can she do all that I'm doing now? Okay. You're home? Yes, and I'm going to work. Where are you coming from? I went to drop the keys off at school. This late? It's 9 a.m. And where did you spend the night last night that you're going to work at 9 a.m.? I don't report to anyone. Okay, I run my own establishment. I have people working for me so that I can get to work any time I want. Kule. That didn't answer my question. Where did you spend the night that you didn't even deem it fit to tell me that you will not be home? So that's why you were going around calling my friends, eh? As if I'm a child that you should be monitoring. Am I not supposed to worry about my husband? Worry about yourself, okay? I didn't ask you to worry about me. Worry about how unkept you look. You don't have time for your hysterics this morning. I'm going to work. And the bags, eh? Okay, you put them all very well. Okay, okay. Okay, just, yes, hold, hold on for me, hold on for me. Let me get pen and paper, hold on. Okay. Okay, uh -huh. continue. 12 inches, eh? On Sunday. Okay, Spider-Man. Got that. Okay. 
for the for the wedding four steps four steps did you give them the price for four steps okay okay good okay okay so so what you're going to do is send the pictures to my phone then i'm going to bake some small cakes hmm? this night come and pick them up tomorrow and take them to the store okay Come in. Okay, okay. Uh, yes, yes. All right, I have to go now. Bye-bye. Hey! 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 I mean, you, you look like a hot mess. Still no help. My dear, it's Kunle. It's Kunle. Kunle has refused to allow me to get a domestic staff. And I said, okay, let me go to the village and get somebody. He said, no, he doesn't want to live with anybody. He doesn't want anybody to come and start touching his kids. And I said, okay, Oga, please then help me with the house chores. He still wouldn't. What am I going to do? Ah, uh ah. -uh. Why is Kunle behaving that way? It must not be a live-in housekeeper. At least there's some that will come in the morning and go at night. Buju, I am tired. As I'm speaking to you now, I have a wedding cake and a birthday cake to bake. I don't even have anybody to help me. All my girl do is to come and take the ones that I bake and drop at the store. The girl that usually helped me before, she just got married and relocated. So I'm just alone, no helper. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't even know what else to do. So forget about that. I understand, my dear. It's not easy running a business and taking care of the kids and home. It's not. But you just have to try not to lose yourself in it. And you also have to create time for yourself. I mean, you, you don't look good. I know. Seriously. Don't worry about that. See, I have to rush you. Seriously, I didn't even know you were coming by this time. I need to go to the market then pick up the boys. All right, dear. Please. Hey. Would you? Ah. All right, oh, my dear. I have, to, I have to go back to the shop so that we can arrange the goods hey, I bought. We will, eh? I'll call. Hey, I just friend. dropped by to see. Hey, I'll call. Hey, All right, my dear. All right. So we'll talk now, eh? All right. Okay. All right. Just take care of yourself. I will. Huh? I will. I will. Hmm. Are you serious? <laughs> Yes, because I'm always with my boo. Come on. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll make that time and come next week. Yes, because there's this club I want to take you to. Okay. Uh, oh, all right, babe. <laughs> all right, we'll see you later. All right. Bye. <laughs> yes? Ma, I'm done with the cooking. Should I dish your food now? Dish a little for me, then put the rest in the fridge. Okay. Then make the vegetable salad and put in the fridge. Yes. When you're done, don't forget to go to my room, dress my room, and light the candles. Anything else? Nothing else. Thank you. Hi, babe. Hey, baby. How are you? Doing great. How are you? Are you coming over tonight? I'm not sure yet. Let me get home first. I didn't see my kids this morning, so I need to see them. If I'll be coming, I'll let you know. But sweet, I just made that bang soup for you. Okay, babe. I'll try. All right, let me just get home first, okay? Okay. Talk to you later. God, I wish I can just have this man all to myself without sharing. He girl can only wish and then step up your game. Jane, step up your game. I'm done icing the smaller cakes. I'll ice the medium cakes. Yes, yes. I'll ice the medium cakes in the morning. 
So please, make sure you come tomorrow morning. Eh? You know that, yes, that is what I'm trying to tell you. Make sure you come in the morning. You know it's a weekend. I don't want, yes, I don't want the shop to be empty, okay? Yes. I hope, yes, no problem, okay? Yes. I, no, I'm trying to, I'll call you back. What is this? What have you boys done? I told you boys to remain in your rooms. Why did you come downstairs? Look at the mess you have done yet. Go back to your rooms. I said go back to your rooms and don't come down again. Go back to your rooms. Look at what you have done. Welcome to where? Huh? What, 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 welcome to this? Ibe, what, what, what is this mess? No, really, what, what, what is this mess? Eh? You, you disgust me right now. It is your kids that made the mess, not me. Please, 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 I don't have time for your insults this night. What is it? You always look for every slightest opportunity to insult me. I've asked you to help me get a domestic staff to help me, but you wouldn't. I do the cooking alone. I take care of the kids. I don't even have time for myself. Please, you always find an opportunity to at least come back home and depress me even more. Ivie, do you even know how much a bag of cement is? No, do you? So after providing this house for us to live in, the simple task of taking care of it, you cannot do? Eh? Is that it? You know what? I don't even have time for this. I came home only because I wanted to spend time with the kids and I can't even find a conducive environment to relax. I'm leaving this house and I'm coming back tomorrow morning. Please make sure that this house is in a better state by the time I get back. Just go. Go, that's all you do. In fact, your kids won't even miss your absence. Babe. Baby, you like? Mm. This is so delicious. How do you... How do you manage? I mean, <laughs> you cook, you clean, you keep the house tidy, you write. How do you, how do you manage, really? <laughs> Baby, I just try. I try, you know, as a woman, you ought to know how to balance. Hmm. You know my wife? Always a mess. Hair unkept, clothes a mess, like the house is always a mess. We only have two kids and she can't handle anything. Oh, oh man, Viv, come on. <laughs> you you are here with me and you're still talking about your wife. Come on, if she makes you that unhappy like you said, then leave her. Mm hmm. Um, sweetie, listen, I, I love you, and I will really take good care of you. I mean, life is too short for you to, to be unhappy in, in the name of marriage. If you are not happy and it takes your peace of mind, please leave. Please. Mm hmm. Done. Marry me. <laughs> what did you just say? I said marry me. Susie, come on, you are still married. By law, you are not supposed to take two wives. It's called bigamy.
Jane, I can't remember the last time my wife made me smile. You always make me happy. It's like you keep this place so nice and clean for me. I want to be with you, Jane. I will live my life. So I ask again. Marry me. When I see your divorce papers signed. to talk to your friend Kunle. He needs to start taking better care of his wife. Seriously. <sighs> I was at their place earlier today. My God. You won't even recognize her. She barely has time for herself. She's not the Evie that I used to know. She's a shadow of herself. Isn't it her responsibility to take care of herself? <laughs> Sweetie babe, what time does she have? No, tell me. Kunle doesn't eat stale food. She has to make it fresh morning and night. Dress the kids for school. Take them to school. Bring them back. Wash. Clean the house. Help the kids do their homework. Prepare them for bed. And still manages to bake for her shop. No help. Kunde doesn't assist her at all. And has refused her from getting a domestic staff. That she will pay with her own money. Come on. This is modern day slavery. Kunde doesn't tell me all this. So. I believe he's a traditional man that thinks it's a woman's job to take care of the home. Traditional man. So she should die all because she married a man that don't understand that marriage is a partnership. Look, babe, just talk to him. Talk to him. At least he should let her get a domestic staff. Simple. That's all. Fine, I will try and talk to him. You better do. I will. Now, hurry up and come to bed, okay? Papa is ready for you. You better talk to him. I will. My babe, you can't be serious. <laughs> he said he will leave his wife and marry you. <laughs> it sounds crazy, right? But he meant it. He really really meant it. Like the woman makes him so unhappy. <laughs> You're so naive. You're so, so naive. Like, like a married man tells you he will leave his wife for you and you actually believed. He said he's, he's miserable in, in the marriage and, and besides, um, I'm already in love with him. Really? You fell in love with him? Mm-hmm. Huh. Rule number one, never fall in love with a married man. Okay, have you tried to find out how he treats his wife? Come on, no one wants a broken marriage now. You really need to put yourself in her shoes. Aji, <laughs> where's this coming from? Don't you date married men? What, 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 what's this now? What kind of advice is this? What's your now? <laughs> I know I'm not a saint. But you wanting the man to divorce his wife is a bit extreme. That's all I'm saying. I'm in love with this guy, and, and it's not my fault. He comes to my house, he eats my food, 
he sleeps with me like a wife. Seriously, how is it my fault? This man lost a marriage a long time ago before we met. So, so, so how is it my fault? Huh? Besides, this guy we're talking about is an African man. He's entitled to marry as many wives as he wants. So what, what, what is this thing? Now you're acting like I'm the one trying to break up this guy's marriage while he's the one that wants a divorce. Well, just advising you as a friend should. <laughs> Don't give yourself high hopes so that that man will leave his wife for you. <laughs> Never. She's being on that topic, please. I will see Clubbing tonight. Your body is hot. Why are you shivering? Oh, baby, don't worry, I'll be fine, okay? I just have a little bit of fever. Do you need anything? Yes, we are hungry, but since you're, you are not feeling well, I will make I will make good enough for me and my brother to eat so you can rest. Oh, thank you so much, baby. I promise to make good food for you in the morning, okay? Okay, but where is daddy? We haven't seen him since. Why hasn't he come home? Daddy traveled. He'll be home soon. Come and make food for your brother, okay? Hello? Would you? Would you please, can you help me come take the boys with you tomorrow? I am not feeling too well. I need to see a doctor. Kune has not been at home for the past three weeks and I've been calling him. He's not been picking up my calls. I've sent text messages, no reply. I'll come early in the morning. I'll take you to the hospital myself. Thank you so much. I'll pick them up as soon as I'm okay. Thank you. Bye. Joe, Joe, thank you so much, honestly. Thank you for taking care of me. And thank you for taking in the kids. Come on, Evie. What are friends for? Uh, by the way, you didn't tell me what the doctor says is wrong. Yeah, it's high fever. So he said I need bed rest. I need a lot of rest. And also my BP is a bit high. A little bit high. No, tell me. Why would your BP be up the roof? Look, you need to get yourself a house help. Whether Kunle approves or not. You don't have to kill yourself over a man that doesn't even care. If he wants fresh food, let him make it himself. Seriously. Nobody will subject me to modern day slavery. Or in the name of what? Being a good wife. But I knew he doesn't eat still food when I married him. You will forever defend him. Look at you, Evie. You love Kunle more than he loves you. And it is not healthy for you. All right. Ken called him and told him that you were hospitalized. Where is he? He's still not home. Look. Once you get better, just get yourself a domestic staff. Simple. He's going to adjust. You worry too so much. I'll be fine. And yes, I will get myself a domestic staff. You better do. And you should also pay for the children's school bus. So you stop running up and down. That. Their father will never agree to that. Besides, I'm not even comfortable with it. I don't want stories. Don't worry. I'll keep doing the school runs. Very soon they'll be on holidays and I'll have rest and take care of them. Seriously. Have mercy on yourself.
Babe, you've been constantly here, and does that mean you're ready to divorce your wife now? Look, I'm here because I love you, and I want to spend more time with you. I, I will leave her, but it's not going to be that easy. We've been together for over 12 years now. I can't just walk up to her and say I want to divorce her. She were not leaving her. I, she is the one you love while I am here satisfying your sexual fantasies, right? Of course not. That, that's not true now. This is not about sex. It isn't. Look, I love you, okay? I don't want to be with you, but... Look. I will leave you. Okay? But I just... I mean... She was with me when I had nothing. You know, she helped me build my business and she supported me. But I'm not in love with her anymore. I'm not even attracted to her. I I'm just indebted to her. That's all. Come and leave. What? what? Come and leave. Come and leave. You need to go. Come and leave. I'm not, I'm not getting any younger and you know it. You need to reevaluate this relationship. Are you for real? Go! Go, go and leave now. Leave. Go. Just go. What is it? All I'm good for is just sex, nothing else. I can do this. I can do this. Let me just tell her. But it's going to break our heart. But I'm, but I'm not attracted to her anymore. I can't continue to live a lie. I can't tell her. I must tell her. Yeah, we need to talk. Evie? Evie, are you, are you crying? Was a woman that has been nothing but good to you. Ken, I'm in love with someone else. 
in love or in lust. What do you seek in a woman that Evie doesn't possess? Guy, you can't understand. I'm the one living with her. I mean, the woman I married was this sweet, fun-loving, beautiful woman. Then all of a sudden she changed. She doesn't even make any effort, any effort at all, to look good or, or, or to even please me. I'm not in love with her anymore. And then there's Jane. Pretty, you know, well put together, never to be caught on fresh. I don't want to lose the babe now. Huh? The only reason why I'm still with EVA after so long is because I pity her. But man, I have to choose my own happiness now. I won't be a part of it, Conley. Uju and your wife are good friends. And I love my wife too much that I have to start distancing myself from you. Come on, tell me. When was the last time you helped your wife? Huh? With the kids, with the chores. When was the last time you took her out on a nice date? She was at the hospital for three days. Your kids stayed at my place because you were not at home. Okay, stop making me out to be the devil. Hmm? The heart wants what the heart wants. I will not be a part of it. Fine, go ahead. Tell her she wasted 12 years of her life for nothing. Just know that Uju will not forgive you for this. And wherever my wife stands, I stand as well. I just hope you do what is right. I've said my own. Ken. Ken, he's not... Come on now. And this is so confusing. Jane, you're making this so difficult. You asked him to leave your house? What is wrong with you? <sighs> Angie, that man cannot stop me from seeing other men. With a promise that he will leave his wife for me. That man spends his whole time here. I baby him up and down. And he still finds it difficult to leave her? Come on! He can't just wake up and walk out of a marriage that long. You sending him out will push him right back in her arms. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> you really have to decide what to do. In as much as I'm not in support of you breaking up another woman's home, but you sending him out is never the best option, trust me. You shouldn't have given him an option to choose. Oh no, but I'm so confused. I mean, I... I love him so much. I, I, I... And he's still calling. Talk to him. Pick your call, please. doing here? I asked you to come here so we could talk. I'm here. So when is she leaving? Tonight. I tried to tell her yesterday, but she just started crying. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to break the news to her. Cool. 
Maybe because that lady knows what she is doing. She's trying to manipulate you, and you know it. Um, I, I... Kule, please. I cannot continue to play second fiddle. It's either you choose me or her. I mean, you, can, you cannot have the both of it. Jane, I'm doing it tonight. Okay, by tomorrow, I'm all yours. Did you hear me? I said I want a divorce. I'm sorry that it has to come out this way, but I... Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. This marriage has been over for a long time and you know it. She's beautiful. What are you saying? The woman you're leaving me for. I saw both of you today. What do I tell the kids? We'll find a way to make them understand. You cannot have it that easy, Kunle. I am not divorcing you. 
take me to court. Ide, Ide, this thing doesn't have to get messy. It doesn't have to, we are both miserable for crying out loud. Are we? my lawyer draft the divorce papers. But you can have anything that you want. Okay, you can have 30% share of my company. You can keep the kids as long as I have visitation rights. And if you want, you can keep this house. Or I can get you another one. Ivie, I know how you must feel. But this is for the best. It's better than living the rest of our lives miserable. be leaving the house until you make a decision. Please do the needful. Where did I go wrong? What have I done? You said you don't eat stale food. I make fresh food for you. You said you don't want a domestic staff. I do the house chores myself. You said you don't want a nanny. I take care of our kids myself. You say you don't want me working for anybody. I obliged without complaint. I found myself a job that would give me time. Oh God. What have I done? What have I done? Kunle, I've never cheated on you. I've never disobeyed you. I stood by you at your deepest hard time. I helped you build your business. Look at me. Look at me. Who would want me? What is it that you want in a woman that I do not do? Tell me. Look at my sad breath. Look at my sad breath, Kunle. Look at how my breath starts from feeling your key. That is due to go down. I've run down the stomach for years. It's supposed to come down, Kunle. Tell me, what have I done? Please. Hey, hey, just stop, just stop right there. Stop what? Stop right there. Where would I stop? Tell me, Kunle. Tell me what I have done. Tell me what have I seen that I have done. Tell me, Kunle. Have I lost my sex appeal? I will work on it. Just please don't go. If my mind is already made up. Okay, my mind is made up. Please. Please, Gula, I promise you. 
give me just one month? Just one month. After the one month, I promise I will sign the divorce papers. All I need is just one month from you, please. One month is not going to change how I feel. Please, Colin, I beg you, don't go, please. What do I have to do in this one month? You will sleep in this house every day for 31 days. You will hire domestic staff that will wash and clean. Don't worry about the food. I will still cook your food. You will play with the kids every evening. You will make yourself available for dinner. You will not miss it. You play with the boys every weekend. They are on a long holidays now, so it's fine. You will take us out. After everything, I promise, I will sign the divorce papers. You don't have to give me anything. I just want the man that I married for one month. Is that too much to ask for a divorce settlement? Are you sure you wouldn't change your mind at the end of this? No. You know I never go back on my words. You have a deal. Thank you. Dish your food. I kind of have to eat at home. You're not staying tonight? I thought you told her about us and she wanted a divorce. Yeah, but she's not making it so easy. She gave conditions. She wants me to be at home for a month. She says it's for the kids. You know, they're on long holidays and she doesn't want this to affect them. That it'll be easier when they start school. Sweetie, this woman is manipulative. She, she wants to hold you down with the kids. I mean, so I have to share this whole one month with, it's fine. with her. It's just a month. Before you know it, it's all over. And then I'm free. And then we can be together. Hmm? 
Okay. Of course you know I love you. Why are you calling so late? I'm in bed. I miss you too. Yeah, I miss you too. Okay, okay, fine. I'll see you tomorrow. Go back to bed, okay? All right, good night. Home in time for dinner and to talk the kids in. Hmm? Okay. Come on. Hmm. Have a good day. Yes. Oh, I haven't seen you do that in a very long time. Hmm. Monitoring spirits. Go upstairs and call your brother. Come and have your breakfast. on me with her. Really, Jane? Come on, she's my wife. We share the same bed. In just one month, I will be all yours. Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. I'm already hurting her, okay? So just give her a month. No date night calls again, please. Okay, fine. So, um, no, I see you. But you just saw me now. Okay, you know what I mean. Such a crazy brother. Hey. Hey, babe. You're back. Welcome. Yeah. The kids just had their dinner and went upstairs to sleep. Okay. You look well rested. Well, having a domestic staff around. So, how was work? It's okay. There's this contract that we're trying to push at the state house, but the guy who's supposed to sign off is never on seat. Mm, if you really want the contract, why don't you find out from the secretary his schedule? Then you send one of your staffs whose work is to get his attention. Okay. You know, I miss having these conversations with you. I miss them too. 
So go upstairs and take a shower. I'll dish your food. Okay. Yeah, let me just. That's the divorce condition treating you. Nju is really happy about it. I swear, Evie tells Uju everything. I'm sure she even gives her daily updates. <laughs> Guy, I feel so guilty. You know, I had a conversation with Evie last night about my business and. to me that I hadn't had a real conversation with her in a long time. Well, she is the idea behind your business, you know? She helped it grow into what it is now. Yeah. I feel so terrible. You know, I can see the pain that she tries to hide in her heart when, when trying to make this whole process work for the kids. She always puts them first. Every time I get close to her, like when we're in the kitchen or when we're eating, I, I can see the toll this marriage has had on her. She's lost so much weight. You know, she even has wrinkles on her face. I don't know if I can go through with this whole divorce condition thing. What if I find out that I'm still in love with her. You know, that scares me, man. What is wrong with falling back in love with the woman you've been with for 12 years? Think about it. Is this Jane lady really what you're tearing your family apart? I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. I trust you will make the right decision. Jane is daddy's business partner. Besides, you don't talk while eating. You know everyone in dad's office. No one is Auntie Jane. All his staffs are cool. What did I just say? No talking while eating. Your daddy takes you to his office doesn't mean you know all his staffs. No more talking. I don't think he's coming back. I'm not sure he's coming back to me. I have been calling him. He's not taking my calls and he's not even returning it. Babe, you just have to calm down and take things easy. This is a big life decision he's making for you. You have to give him some space to think it through. Babe, I didn't know. But tomorrow is the last day of the divorce condition. I mean, I, I don't even care if he divorces her. All I want is just him. I don't care if he's still married to her. I just, I just want him to come back to me. I, I miss him so much. I just want just him. Please stop crying. I'll come over tomorrow morning. Just calm down and find a way to sleep, okay? 
That's okay. Alright, good night. Thank you. For? For helping me save face with the kids. For not making me answer the hard questions. Tomorrow is the last day. And I will sign the divorce papers. Please, don't tell the kids about it. I will find a way to relate it to them. Evie. I never deserved you. You're as beautiful as you are pure. I don't even know how I'm going to manage this life without you. Stop it. This past one month has given me all that I ever wanted. The man I fell in love with. Thank you so much for giving me affection in front of the kids. That's the memories they will remember us with. I am happy. And I respect your wish of divorce. I hope she makes you happy. I'll get my PA to come pick up my stuff. See you guys, okay? All right? Take care of mommy when I'm gone. All right?
Ma, I am done ironing your clothes. Is there any other thing you want me to do? Oh. Uh, should I still make the soup you have to drink? Ha um, microwave the, 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 microwave the food. I didn't, didn't make any food. Microwave the one I made. <laughs> okay? Kule, what, what was that? You scared me. What? Kule. You are a living your wife. Yeah? Jane, I'm sorry. Okay, what we have is special. But my marriage, my children, I can't, I can't just walk out and them. You are sorry. <laughs> you are sorry. You promised me you would leave your wife for me. You made me fall in love with you. And you come here to tell me you are sorry. Really? I'm really, really sorry, Jane. <laughs> Kole, please, just, just leave. Why? Leave! Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I... Sorry for everything I've ever done. You know, these past few weeks have just reminded me about our vows. Babe, I got something. Are you sleeping?
baby. If you are reading this, that means I am no more. Thank you for giving me the best days of my past days on this earth. I have been fighting cancer for the past six months. The result, the result came, back. came back. It is, it is malignant. malignant. You have, you have cancer. cancer. And it and is, it is advancing. advancing. We have we to have start, to start you, on you on chemotherapy immediately. If there if is, there is any, any chance, chance of it. There was no time to tell you. You were barely home. I kept it to myself. Because I didn't want anyone feeling pity for me. Hence, I started losing interest in things. And with taking care of the kids, I was always weak. But I kept fighting. After chemo, I was better for a few weeks. Then I fell sick again when you didn't come home for a week. I was taken to the hospital. The doctor told me that I had one month to leave. I looked for ways to tell you, but you never gave me the chance until I saw you with your girlfriend. I knew I had to tell you. And when you act for divorce, I came up with the condition you stay home for one month. I wanted you to remember me for the woman you loved and married. I wanted our kids to see us happy and in love in my last days. And it worked after you tried to kiss me last night. That was when I knew it would be any moment until I was not of this world. As you left this morning, I saw that look in your eyes. The look you gave me the first day, you said to me, Evie, I love you. I knew I had to leave this note. So thank you, Kunle, for the best moments in our marriage. Thank you for our lovely kids. Take care of them. Thank you for loving me and giving me the last wish. I forgive you. And hold no grudge against you. You have, you have to forgive yourself too. Fall in love again. Look after our children until we meet to, to pass no more. <laughs>
it's been two years since I lost my wife. And I haven't been able to forgive myself since then. But you didn't speak to me for a year. Can't say that I blame her. She'll come and check on the kids once in a while, but it took quite a bit of pleading before we became family friends again. Now, I spend my weekends counseling couples going through a rough patch. I share my story with them just so they don't make the same mistakes that I made. Guys, marriage is a partnership. You have to be there for each other. And if you, if you see that there's, the spark is no longer there, you have to make sure that you rekindle it. Buy each other gifts. Go out on dates. If you can afford it, get domestic staff to help with the kids. If not, you have to help each other. They are both your kids. And tell each other every day that you love one another. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. <sighs> So what happened to Jane? Jane. You know, for a while I wanted to blame her for distracting me. But I knew deep down that I could only blame myself for abandoning my wife. Going back to her would have just reminded me of my failure. Will you ever get married again? You know, I never actually thought about that. Maybe I will someday in the future. But not anytime soon. My focus right now is on my kids. I'm a single parent now. <laughs> it's a lot of work. In fact, sometimes I... I wonder if the stress contributed to my wife's sickness. 